Fresno family is speaking out to warn others of an email scam that's making the rounds. This one is targeting seniors in the valley. Crooks ripped off one man for thousands of dollars. CBS 47's investigative reporter Eric Rosales explains. Let's face it, crooks are getting smarter, which means we have to as well. Last week I brought you the story of how crooks are using email posing as bosses trying to get their employees to send them money. Well, now a Fresno family has been contacted by a crook claiming to be an out-of-state bank. They had to say something to frighten him, to threaten him some way. Gina Adams says her father got an email from what he thought was his Arizona bank claiming he needed to transfer money quickly. The email had a hotline number which he called. A man on the other end told her dad something was wrong with his account and he needed to immediately withdraw money and buy gift cards. They wouldn't allow him to get off the phone. So while even my sister was there, she kept saying, who, who are you talking to? Who's there? And he goes, oh no, I'm, I'm just wouldn't tell her. That's what they do. They keep you on the phone so that you just don't say, why am I doing this? Gina says her father is an intelligent man and he really thought that it was her bank. So he purchased thousands of gift cards from several stores and then read off the numbers to the man. Thankfully, the family caught on, but only after $6,000 were lost. Gina has a list of stores she contacted to warn them what was happening, including banks and Fresno police. And you talked mm -hmm. to the bank and the bank teller told you what? that this is very common, that it happens all the time. It happened to his grandmother, and they, she can't, doesn't drive. So they said, we'll send an Uber over to you. The thing that really makes me angry is that these crooks are contacting our seniors, a generation that tends to be a little bit more trustworthy. So spread the word. Anytime you're contacted by email, don't just trust the sender. Confirm it with the source, like your banking institution, before you send out any money. I'm on your side. Eric Rosales, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.